Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are watching The Karate Kid. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, and welcome if you're new. Today, we are diving on into an 80s movie, The Karate Kid. I'm so excited to be finally watching this one. It has been on my list for so long. I've included it in so many polls over on Patreon, and it has finally won a poll. And I feel like this is just gonna be a fun little action movie today. Something comforting to watch on this gloomy day. I'm filming this on a day when we are getting a lot of rain here in LA. The weather is very bad, and so I'm excited to just kind of watch something nostalgic, even though I wasn't born in the 80s. I was a 90s kid, barely, barely a 90s kid because I was born in the 90s. I'm really more of an early 2000s kid, but there's always something kind of comforting about watching movies from the 80s. It just feels like a simpler time, you know? It just feels like a happier time. People weren't on their phones so much. So I'm just excited to be watching a movie from this decade again. I have a feeling it'll be fun and I don't really know much about this one. Quite literally, the only thing I know about this movie movie is that you know, wax on, wax off is a part of it. And the only reason I know that is because I had an earth science teacher in high school that taught us the phases of the moon waxing and waning with using the karate kid wax on, wax off technique. Honestly, I don't even really think his lesson made that much sense, <laughs> but I did learn the phases of the moon. So I guess it worked. And I'm really excited to just get on into this one and have fun with y'all today. But before we do, I just wanna quickly mention that I do have a Patreon page. I always link it in the description bar below. For those of y'all who are curious and wanna maybe watch these movies along with me in a longer format, my full length reactions are posted over there as well as polls to help me decide what I watch next here on my channel. I've also been doing patron exclusive live streams for my top tier patrons over there, as well as including reactions to the movies that I'm reacting to on my other channel, Natty Gold. So if you don't feel like checking out the Patreon page, I totally understand, but you could also just check out my other channel, Natty Gold, where I do live streaming and react to other movies. Lots of places to see this face if you're not sick of me yet. But I'm already getting sick of hearing myself talking. So without any further ado, I think it's time to grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the movie. Newark, New Jersey. Oh, great. We're going to New Jersey. Tony, don't forget to tell Uncle Louie that I left the red wine and the parmesan in the refrigerator. Parmesan. Okay, so, so he's Italian. They couldn't have written a sequence of lines to set up that this is like an Italian family more than like, I left a bottle of red wine and parmesan in the fridge. Are we leaving New Jersey? California, here we come. Thank God. Get me out. Listen, I, I love my New Jersey fans, okay? I got a lot of friends who were from New Jersey, but I got a shit on it. I'm from New York. It's a rule. Well, we know we've made it because there's palm trees. No more Newark winters. I like winters, Ma. Oh, you like sore throats. You like frozen toes. I don't like smog. Did I tell you about the pool here? He's not wrong. Did she just move here because she didn't want to deal with the winters? <laughs> she, like, relocate her kid. Yeah. Oh! oh. oh. Ah. Ah, oh my god! Hey, what was that? Karate? Huh. What? Oh yeah. So he already does karate? Ever use it? A couple times, you know. Bet you could kick some ass, huh? Ugh, there's no water in the wow, that is a sad pool. Hey, we're having a beach party, sort of ideal summer. You wanna come? A beach party. Hopefully we're actually going to the beach and not just calling the pool the beach. <laughs> Please don't say anything about the pool. I will call first thing in the morning. I don't think the landlord cares, ma'am. I'm sorry. Sure, a lot of people have called. Hey, you the maintenance man? Oh. No, he's not. Hey. Yeah, we're the new people in apartment 20. Did you just snatch a fly out of the air with chopsticks? Look at all the bonsai trees he has. When are you gonna fix the faucet? After. Oh, he is the maintenance guy, too. He still hasn't caught it yet. That fly is really helping him out by just staying nearby for him to practice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he forgot how to play. He's like, oh, wait a minute. She's so pretty. Wait a minute. Yeah, who's that, who's that blonde and blue? The hill. She looks, she looks like, oh, the hills. She lives in the hills, like Beverly Hills. Oh, she looks like an adult. <laughs> oh, oh my God. They're all watching. They're all watching. Ah, <laughs> Oh, oh my god, this is actually cute. Three and four. Try it, just bring your leg up. 
Oh, good. He is good with the ladies. Oh no, the jerks have shown up. Oh no. 8 a.m. tomorrow, I'm a senior. I've got one year to make it all work. And that's what I'm gonna do, make it work. He's a junior in high school and they all have motorcycles? What kind of junior in high school has motorcycles like this? Ah! Hey, Johnny, forget it, man. It's ancient history. Who told you, man? Oh, they used to date. Uh-oh. Daniel, you better run, boy. Oh, uh, oh, I'll get it. I'll get it back. She just kicked it right into the ocean like she was trying to. I'm sure she was, it was supposed to be an accident, but it looked like she just did it intentionally. <laughs> what is your problem? Look, why don't you just take your little Cobra Kai's and get out of here? Cobra Kai's, I've heard of that. Oh! Give me my no. radio. It's taking her radio? Oh my God. Just break my radio! Yeah. That's horrible. Got you. All right. Oh, face out time, the music. Oh no. <laughs> the blogging for this was just, okay, just run and just trip over his leg immediately. Oh, he, oh. So the motivation for him to get good at karate is gonna be to beat this guy's ass. You sure pick cool people to be friends with, Freddy. Where'd you find this guy? What? Wait, they're making fun of Daniel for losing a fight? Oh my God. Why does it really suck so much? Come on, now, let's go. Come on, it's better for him alone. Aww. This poor girl did nothing, you know? She didn't encourage them to fight. She just lost her radio and the guy that she was flirting with and the bonfire pit. Oh my God. Wow. Looks worse Don't than feels. do that. It's gonna Ma, make it worse. It doesn't hurt. Can you say? A, I can see fine. All right. Do you want to stay home from school? No, no, I gotta go. Oh, what a sweet mama. She's like, stay home from school. My mom would have been like, okay, put some ice on it. Go back to school. But I'm gonna. You tell me who did that to you. I'm gonna kick their ass. <laughs> I bet he goes to this school too because, of course, he would. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's got a little Walkman. Maybe we could break it. See how it feels. Hey, you got a name? Allie, with an I. Hey, what's your name? Daniel, with an L. <laughs> He's cute. He's got that, that New Jersey confidence. <laughs> He'll be just fine. He'll make friends, no problem, I think. Unless everyone in the school is just a total jerk off. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're all scheming. Are you? Huh. <laughs> nice trip. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, look what he's doing. Look what he's doing to Bobby. Oh, Daniel, no. Uh, this school sucks, man. It does suck. It does suck. They actually do all suck here. They're really awful. Oh, she looks so sad. I feel like she can't tell if it was like... She probably she probably just thinks he like reacted out of nowhere, but... Oh, he is practicing fighting moves right now. Karate. He does know a little karate. He does practice. Okay. Run from books? Eight. I had a few months at the Y in Newark where I live. Oh. This guy, this guy knows what's up. He's gonna teach him so that he can defend himself with these assholes at school. Karate! Is he gonna go see if he can take lessons here? No! Does it! I bet the asshole trains here, Cobra Kai guy. Oh, he's like a sergeant. Like he's like a military guy. Yeah, they all have sn they all have cobras on the bet. Yeah, okay. It's he definitely trains here. So this is his method of training, I see. Which I don't think is the way that you really should learn karate. It seems like a militarized method. What's the matter, Daniel? Nothing. This guy across the corner is the matter. Oh, oh, it's this loser's here. Quick, let's run back and go harass them. Guys, come on, look, he's with his mom. What a loser. Oh, cute. No, not cute. She's, uh, I mean, she's beyond cute. Listen, you'll tell me about it later. I love you. Great Careful enough. how you ride home. Smile. She's excellent smile. She's really smart. He's still thinking about her. He's just talking to himself. Oh. She's hot. Definitely hot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, buddy. Good job. Were those kids just like, were they just like taking note of how like, I, I don't know what they were like pointing, pointing and laughing at. I mean, obviously Daniel, but they looked like they were going to go do something and then they did. Oh God, they found him here. Oh, so they're following him. I see. They were waiting around the corner to follow him on his bike ride home. Like what jerks? Hey, don't think about the pain. Oh 
not his bike. Oh, no. Oh, he'll be okay. Oh, that's pretty rough. Oh, my God. He just recovered from the black eye. This is awful. I hate this place. I hate it. I just want to go home. Why can't we just go back home? We're fighting right outside where the fixer-upper guy lives, the guy that knows karate. You took karate. No, not, not, not at the Y, at a good school. Good. Yeah, yell here so he can hear you and train you. Hey, did you fix my bike? Oh, he fixed it. Wow. Do you like see? Come inside. This man's smart. He's reeling him in with the bonsai trees and the fixing of the bike. Come, you try. Wow, he's letting him trim the bonsai tree? That's a big deal. Close eye. Close eyes? What? Really? Wipe your mind clean. Everything but tree. Nothing exists. All of <laughs> Dude, this man that I like pretty much just met, like touched my face like that. I'd be like, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Whoa, we're a little close here. Okay. What? <laughs> Me? Oh my God. I couldn't. Oh, please, uh, hurt the feeling. Oh, oh my God. This dude is amazing. You know what? This is actually makes a lot of sense because he's the exact opposite of not only all the bullies, uh, but he's also the exact opposite of the drill sergeant style trainer at the other karate studio. So it's gonna be like one method of training versus another, you know? You too much by self, not too good. Not by myself, it was you. <laughs> to make honey, young bee need young flower, not old prune. <laughs> That's funny, man. If I have costume, you go? What costume? Is that the costume? He's a giant shower? Hey, there's Daniel. Where? The shower. How do you know? The shower. I just know. <laughs> That's actually hysterical. Help me, help me. My flower needs water. Hey, you've come to the right place, stranger. Ooh, that's actually really romantic. That's kind of cute. I'd love to see him get a dose of his own medicine. Well, you know, it goes around, comes around. Mm, I'd love to be there when it does. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you will, girl. Ooh, they're so they're canoodling like so close as friends. Like, ooh, these are the least awkward high school teenagers I've ever seen. Oh, is he gonna do something to f Johnny up? He's using those. Is he gonna douse him with water? That's actually really funny. It's gonna fry his walk, man. Smart, 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 smart. Yeah, twist it and then get out of there. Hey, man. Oh, Spider-Man, you almost ruined it. Get out of my way. Look out. Daniel, yeah. what's wrong? It's coming around. <laughs> he just caused a three-car pileup. To be fair, that guy that swerved should have just braked. Like, what the heck? Oh, he abandoned the shower. Hopefully, Mr. Miyagi doesn't need that bag. He ain't going to oh no, almost! Hey, leave him alone, man. He's had enough. Shut up, Bobby! Look at his guts! He can't even stand up! Bobby at least has somewhat of a conscience. I'm a side, but he's had enough, man! What is wrong with you, Johnny? Johnny's a meanie. He's a psychopath. <gasps> there he is, Mr. Miyagi. Stop it, Bobby! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Nice! Hey, hey. Man, he made light work of all of them. Oh, that's so funny. That stylized, like, blurring of the edges of the frame. <laughs> because you could tell he was just barely seeing Mr. Miyagi before he was going to pass out. An enemy deserves no mercy. What is the problem, Mr. Lawrence? Hey, come on. Let's forget this. Wait. No, he's interested now. Now he's like, no, no. Let's not forget this. Class, we have visitors. Fall in behind me. Yo, yeah, get behind me. Make me look like this imposing leader. Oh my god. A little sidekick. Oh, ew. Ew! Uh, no more fighting. This is a karate dojo, not a knitting class. You don't come in my dojo and drop a challenge and leave, old man. It's not a challenge. He's not dropping a challenge. Too much advantage. Your dojo. Name a place. Oh my god. Tournament. The tournament! But you don't show. And it's open season. This guy's evil. He's crazy. Doing a disservice to karate. Win, lose, no matter. You make good fight. 
and respect. Mm, I do hope he wins, though. He's right. Like, it doesn't matter. It's just about becoming better and able to defend yourself. But I, I like, want him, I want him to win. <laughs> I say you do. No question. Deal? Steal? Oh, first step is wash the cars. Oh, <laughs> wax, wax on, wax on. Why do I have to wash the cars? Remember, dear, no question. He's going to start to think he's just getting taken advantage of here. He's going to start to be like, are you just teaching me to wash cars? I'm going to get my ass beat in two months. Wax on, wax off. Don't forget to breathe. Very important. Wax on, wax off. Wow, I didn't realize that he would just be washing cars for that lesson. It wouldn't a fly swat be easier? Man who catch fly with chopstick accomplish anything. Mm. You ever catch one? Not yet. Oh. Oh, he was close that time. Hey, 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 Mr. Miyagi, look. Look. Oh, my God. No way. No way. No way. You begin a luck. <laughs> of course he's a sore loser. <laughs> That's hilarious! Fast you accomplish paint defense. Right? This is just child labor, Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> I'm starting to think you are not training him in karate at all and you just want your place renovated. <laughs> Up. Down. Up. Down. He's doing a great job of not questioning like why he has to learn this stuff. He's like, okay, I'm just going with it. I was told to not question it and just do what he tells me. All finished. Looks pretty good, huh? Hmm. Or say? Not yet. Oh my god. Both sides, oh no. Oh my god. He's not complaining though, but damn. Oh. Is there a note? Paint house. No up, down, go side, side. Half left. Oh, now he's mad. Now he's starting to get mad. Yeah, I figured at some point he's probably going to be like, why am I doing this? You karate training. I'm what? I'm being your goddamn slave is what I'm being, man. Now we made a deal here. It does seem like child labor. Sando floor. Big sucker. Sando floor. So he's starting to realize, oh, oh, you were teaching me moves. Wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. Hey. <laughs> Show me wax on, wax off. Now we're getting somewhere. Ooh! They were defensive moves. Show me side to side. Woo! That came out of nowhere! Well, we're practicing at the beach now? Learn balance! Go on a make kick! Oh, we're gonna go kick in the water. It's like, it's cold though. The Pacific is cold. It's a bit chilly. Oh, wow. What a place to train. Just gonna get sucked into an undercurrent. Man, they picked a, they picked a high surf day, huh? <laughs> oh my God. I wonder if that guy was just actually there to surf. Or he's like an extra in the background. They're probably background. But how funny would it be if somebody was just like, I'm going to surf today. I don't care if you're filming. The seagulls aren't extras. They're just <laughs> living their best life. What was that you doing on those stumps over there? Called crane technique. Mm. Oh, so having the seagulls in it was actually poetic in a way. Hey, when am I going to learn how to punch? Better learn balance. Balance is key. Yeah, I like he's taught him defensive moves first. And then balance next. Like punching is going to be like the last thing you learn probably because he doesn't want to teach him for fighting. It's more about protection. Learn how to keep trying. No! <laughs> oh, you all went behind me. Oh, my God. <laughs> he was, he loved that. He loved that joke. That was a good one. He was rolling back in laughter. Oh my God. He's having a grand old time. Listen, I've been thinking, maybe we can call a truce. Yeah, I'm not at war. Excuse me. <laughs> can we please finish the dance? Ew. The way he just looked at her so like entitled to her time. Ugh, nasty. Oh, he's going to see them dancing. The fact that he was able to just sneak in is like so unrealistic to me. I've never had an easy time getting into a country club. Yeah, ugh. 
Oh no, it's gonna make him happy. And he's gonna, of course, he's gonna look away just at that time. Oh my gosh. Wait, oh my God, and they're all laughing. Why is everybody in this town just a villain to the nth degree? What the heck is wrong with these full grown adults laughing at a kid who just got humiliated? That's horrible. Is that his wife? Aww. I didn't know you were a singer. Oh, looks like he's wearing like a war uniform. Banzai! 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 Ah, close enough. <laughs> he wants you to yell it with some fervor, man. Come on. <laughs> 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 yeah, whiskey is some strong stuff, man. <laughs> oh my We're God. celebrating you. Oh. First American born Miyagi, waiting to be born. Wait, were they supposed to have a kid? regret to inform wife, son, complication of birth. Oh. No doctor can. When he was at war, when he was in the war. Oh my God, that's really awful. What an interesting scene to have right after the scene at the country club, because it just like hits home for this kid. Like, yeah, like Mr. Miyagi has his own problems too, you know? And what's that that he's holding? We regret to inform you that- Yeah. Oh, it's a letter. At the men's and our relocation center, your wife and newborn son died due to complications. Arising from childbirth. That's how he found out. It was from a letter. It's so awful. As he was fighting in the military. And he doesn't like fighting, right? Like, he was fighting for his country even though, yeah, he had a Medal of Valor. Even though he doesn't like fighting. But he probably was doing it because he thought it was the right thing to do. He's bowing while still looking at him. Like he taught him. I like that that we had a scene like that. It shows a layer of depth to Mr. Miyagi and like humanizes him a bit more, which he, I mean, he's already an awesome guy. I already love the dude, but like for this character to really see like the things he's been through. Oh, he's celebrating his birthday with him. Uh, he got him a gift. How funny would it be if it was like a karate belt? Oh, Mr. Miyagi, this is great. Oh, wow. Like a suit, that's great. Hey, where'd this come from anyway? Mrs. Miyagi makes. From her? That's really sweet. What? Oh no, no. I told man feeling. Oh my god. It's like the son he never had. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so dude, this guy is a gem. He's gonna pick the yellow one for sure. I can't believe it. But if anything happens to this car or like the patch on the back of the karate uniform, like because of Cobra Kai, Johnny, I'm gonna be pissed. You're the best friend I ever had. Oh my God, they're so cute. Pretty okay too. <laughs> You're pretty okay, but I did give you a car. <laughs> I love him. Guys, I don't wanna look up this actor because I'm sure he's probably dead and it's gonna make me sad. Banzai Daniel-san! Hey, Banzai! 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 Hey, he's doing it. He's yelling back with more fervor. No, no, no. Hey, don't leave me. I'm wounded. Good, maybe you'll die. I just wanted to apologize. Fine, we apologize. Apologize for what? I don't know why the hell she's mad at him. You know, Daniel, I didn't go out with you because of a car or, or where you live. Okay, well, while you're on the subject, why did you then? Because she liked you. I Listen, I understand why she's hurt at these insinuations, but she should apologize for what happened at the country club or at least feel not necessarily like she has to apologize, but she should understand how it, the optics looked and that everybody laughed at him. Oh, what was that? His hand on her ass? Her right hook. You think she sprained her wrist doing her nails? To be fair, she didn't tell him that or like call him. She 
she shouldn't have to, should she? I mean, I do feel bad for her. I, I feel look, this is just a classic misunderstanding. I feel bad for her because she's just been put in this horrible situation with this horrible ex, and she doesn't deserve to have to deal with it. But she shouldn't really be mad at Daniel either. So I guess you know about the tournament tomorrow. I don't have much of a cheering section. You got me. They made up so fast. Oh my gosh. Well, I'll probably get killed in the first match anyway. <sighs> no, you're definitely gonna face off with Johnny. So we'll leave early. Aww. Oh, that's cute. Uh, excuse me, uh, Mr. Referee. This is uh, not uh, Miyagi. 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 Yeah, Miyagi. Okay, thank you. You stole that man's black belt? <laughs> Good. Kainasan, hurry up, come. Tournament starting. Where do we get this? Ah, uh, Buddha provide. Uh, <laughs> Buddha provide. <laughs> I love him! I am dead. You told me you fought a lot. Ah, for life. Not to for points. Right, exactly. Everything above your waist is a point. How does she know? <laughs> Listen, it's not about winning. He's pro he's de okay. He's definitely not going to win, but I would love for him to face off with Johnny. That's really the point, I feel like. <laughs> Damn, dude! Damn, Daniel! <laughs> I feel like we're about to get like a montage of him kicking ass. That would be really fun. Yes! That's what I thought. A musical montage. Oh, he's facing off with the first Cobra Kai. Didn't seem fair to match up a brown belt with a, a black belt, although Daniel's not really a black belt, so it's fine. Ooh, this guy. Ooh, that guy's good. He was quick. My bye, Cobra Kai. That guy's good. He stands a chance. Ooh, right to the face. That was rough. Nice. Dude, he's killing it. I really think that one guy that's really good should win. I would just be happy if Danny just beat Johnny, but he doesn't need to win the whole tournament. Oh, these two are facing off. Oh man, I want this guy to do well because he was good. Oh my God. Bro, they hired some real talented folks for this. Point, Lawrence. Winner. Three points and it's over. Okay, all right. Well, Johnny won. That makes sense. So, okay, so Daniel has to face off against. I want him out of commission. But Sensei, I can beat this guy. I don't want him beat. But I'll be disqualified. Out of commission. Oh, they're gonna cheat. They're gonna cheat. Are you kidding me? What little snakes? You know what? They're right to be little cobras. They are little sneaky little snakes. What's he gonna do, huh? Don't listen to him. Bobby's the only one that had a somewhat of a conscience when they were fighting before. In sports movies like this, the antagonist always has to cheat somewhat. Oh, he hit the leg. Oh, he's saying I'm sorry. Oh, he did like a leg move. You're not supposed to hit the leg. 15 minutes. Wow, goody. You did well out there, young man. No, this is not how it needs to end. This is f***ed up. Uh-uh. I mean, every time I see those guys, they're going to know they got the best of me. Yeah. I'll never have balance that way. Not with them, not with Allie, not with me. Hmm. That's what it's really about in your head, yeah. Is he just going to magically... <laughs> He's going to magically fix his knee? Daniel LaRusso is going to fight? <laughs> Yeah, he is, buddy. How's the leg, son? It's okay. I mean, he's limping. But he can balance on one leg. Is he going to do crane? I bet he's going to do the crane pose. And champion of the All Valley Under-18 Karate Champion. Man, he is going to win. He's going to have to win. Hey, here we go. Yeah. The thing is with guys like this, even if you beat Johnny, I'm pretty sure they'd still try to bully this kid after because five against one is always going to be stronger. Oh, shit. Oh, of course, time out. Oh, because he's bleeding. Sweep the leg. You have a problem with that? This guy just wants to make his whole team look like assholes, huh? He's like, kill this kid. I don't give a shit how old he is. Oh, maybe he meant sweep your own leg. Kick to the side. One point, Lawrence. Two, two. 2-2, two, two. it's a tiebreaker, baby. Oh my god. <laughs> Who's going to
gonna do it. <laughs> Just punch him in the face. Oh, they're booing. Was that the sweep the leg move? That was clearly illegal because of the music and he hit his leg. Warning for illegal contact to the knees. Warning? You'd think he'd be disqualified. The other guy got disqualified. This is just bull Yeah! Thank you! Thank you! It's coming back around. Thank you. Good job, dude. Wow, beautiful. All these ran, oh my God, all of these random ass people who were never nice to him before. Oh, okay. He did have to go out and beat his ass to earn respect, my God. We did it, all right! Woo! Woo! And that's how it ends. What a sharp ending. Pat Morita was an American actor and comedian best known for Happy Days and The Karate Kid. Died in 2005. I figured he was probably not alive anymore. This movie was made way back in the 80s and he looked already kind of old then. He was so precious. I love him. This movie was really sweet. I really enjoyed it a lot. I did not expect to fall so in love with the friendship between Mr. Miyagi and Daniel. It was so sweet, such a cute relationship. And I'm really happy that we got that scene, learning more about Mr. Miyagi and that he fought in World War II. The idea that, you know, he fought for the Americans and yet his wife and son passed away in an internment camp is just so awful. But I appreciate that that story was told because it's not a part of like American history that really gets told a lot, especially in films. And also is really poetic because the people that they're going up against in this movie, like the antagonist figure is this military man, prides himself on like no mercy and fighting till the end, fighting to the death. When Mr. Miyagi doesn't even really like fighting, but he decided to fight for his country, presumably because he thought it was the right thing to do and that it was necessary, but not because he likes fighting. And despite his family dying in an internment camp, he still went on and got a Medal of Honor. Like, it's just, it speaks to his character so much. And it really gave Daniel a good idea of the type of person that he was and not only looked at him more as a teacher, but really as a friend. And it just deepened their relationship that much more. I really thought that was sweet. All in all, this movie was just really fun and really cute. I don't have too, too much to say about it. It definitely has some cheesy moments in it and things that maybe are a little campy or a little over the top because one, you know, it's the 80s style, but two, it's also just like that class high school story of like relocating to a new school and everybody in the school is just over the top awful even the adults at the country club are just over the top awful like everyone is a particular brand of just evil and gross and annoying the only likable people are <laughs> literally daniel mr miyagi ali and daniel's mom like everybody else in the movie is just completely insufferable and it that's kind of like the way it should be, right? It's more fun for a movie like this to have things be really black and white and stuff and just have stuff feel really campy and over the top, especially with the drama of it being like a sports action movie and having this big competition at the end. All in all, it's just really cute and a lot of fun. And I know a lot of people have suggested the show Cobra Kai to me, but I had never ever considered it because I hadn't even seen Karate Kid yet. Upon watching this, I've looked the show up. It actually looks like it has decent reviews and they're working on season six, I think. I'm actually shocked that there's been this many seasons so far. That definitely seems like a successful show. I think if I'm not mistaken, that was like a YouTube Red show as well. Yeah, it launched as a YouTube Red show and then Netflix acquired the series once YouTube stopped producing YouTube Red shows and original programming. But let me know if that's something y'all would want to see from me. I know that's a bit beefier of a series, a bit longer, so I don't know when I would dive into that, but if that's something y'all would want to see from me, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I had a lot of fun with this, and I hope y'all enjoyed watching this with me as well. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up so that I know and I can check out more stuff like this in the future with all of y'all. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next, and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.